Hi guys, today I've got this really quick and easy low updo for you. To start, I've curled the hair and we've just popped it into a side parting. Then I'm going to divide out the hair from the top of the head to just behind the ear and clip this out of the way. And then just repeat this on the opposite side. Now we're going to take a small slice of hair from behind the ear and we're going to do this on both sides of the head. Now bring these two sections together at the back of the head and tie them together with a clear elastic band. Now split all that hair that's hanging down into three equal sections. And starting on that middle section, we're just going to divide that into two and wrap the sections around one another to create a loose twist. Make sure you tie this off with a clear elastic band. Then just repeat these twists on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. Add some texture spray to those twists, I'll pop the one I'm using in the description below for you. And then gently pinch and pull each one of those twists to give it a bit more volume. Now starting with the twist on the right hand side, I'm just going to pop my fingers behind that section that we tied off at the start. And we're going to pass your twist up to those fingers and wrap it around that section. And then if your hair's long like my model here, I'm just going to do that one more time. So pop your fingers behind that section, grab the ends of the twists and pull it through. Then just use a few bobby pins just to secure this to the head. And we're going to repeat on the left hand side. So pop your fingers behind that section, grab your twist and pull it through once. And then pop your fingers behind that section again and grab the ends of the twists and pull it through for a second time. Again, secure to the head with as many bobby pins as needed. Now with this middle twist, we're going to tuck that little elastic band just behind that tied off section, just like the other two pieces. So we're just going to feed it through with our fingers until it all lines up. And then again, secure with as many bobby pins as needed. So taking the side section on the right hand side, I've left a little hair out to frame the face. And again, I'm just going to create a loose twist, wrapping the sections around one another. And we're going to drape this over the bun and secure it all the way along the length of that twist with a few bobby pins to keep it in place. If you've got any tail ends, all we're going to do is wrap these around an open bobby pin and then just tuck them up and underneath that bun. Then we're going to repeat it on the opposite side of the head. So leave some hair out to frame the face, divide it in two and create a loose twist, drape this over the top of the bun and secure it all the way along the length of that twist with a few bobby pins. Wrap your tail ends around an open bobby pin and again tuck this up and underneath the bun so you can't see them. Gently pinch and pull at those twists just for a little bit of extra volume. And it really is that simple. Here's the finished look. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.